This is the S&P 500 ETF SPY one day reading for January 10th, 2024. It's currently October 31st, 2023, 1.30 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, SPY at the time of this reading is currently 417.9, so $417 and actually 11 cents now. That's USD. And the shuffle video that we're going to play for you here in the corner was created on October 5th, 2023 at 8.40 p.m. Eastern time. That's this video right here. So the overall theme of behavior for the 10th, there's a rally that offers an opportunity to open up a short position or close a long position here. Um, we also have another cross-reading congruency with the January 2024 high uh, cluster card. Um, so uh, cross-reading congruency, uh, cross-reading congruency with the Princess of Swords, which is often very toppy. We probably already saw a toppy kind of thing going on here um, with the Ace of Swords. Uh, but my sense is that we opened we opened higher from where we had closed the previous day. Uh, behavior around the high for the day, we first established support with a, some sideways rotation, and there's a big move higher taking us into the high. There's a cross uh, there's a correlation there to the Ace of Wands. So in the midst of that high, I'd want to take profits or open up, and or open up a short position. And then behavior around the low, notable rally out of the low, but um, the, the behavior around the low is a period of volatility with a sharp drop that'll stand up in that period of volatility. And that sharp drop will take us to the low for the day, which is probably also revisiting of a, a price level that was important. It's possible. I'm advised to trade around that important technical resistance level, important on a multi-day scale there. And there's a lot of price change, so one might even be able to position themselves or play both directions in the market, um, one leg at a time, or first long and then short, and then or short and then long, vice versa, something like that, um, based on the Ace of Swords chart uh, price change behavior around the Ace of Swords. We're going to get into that in, excuse me, the Princess of Swords. We're going to get into that in more detail um, after I make sure that everybody's aware the whole purpose of the channel is to transmute some of the competitive energy of the stock market into goodwill. We do that by following the rule of karma for the channel. Uh, the rule of karma is... Uh, the unwritten requirement, the unwritten agreement between the universe and anybody profiting from this information, you must follow this the, this rule every time you profit using this information or the universe is going to cut you off from the flow of abundance through this channel. Post haste. It's not a threat. It's a warning, guys. It's not me. It's the universe. It refuses to allow people just like you must utilize this information for good purposes to make the world a better place. All right. So that's the only reason why we're able to do what we what we do here. Uh, make sure to do that. You do that here. Resources tab. 5% uh, of the profit should be donated forward to one of these charities. The click here link. Just click here and help cure cancer. I mean, how easy is that? And then 5% of the profit should be donated back to the channel through one of these links here. Um, you can even QR code the Zelle, or if you're international, there's two ways that you could do it through Wise, which is a very reliable and trustworthy app. Um, and then you could also do it through the YouTube channel, uh, through, through like super tipping on YouTube. Much appreciation to all those of you that follow through on the rule of karma. Make sure to spend that 90% left over out of love to keep your conscience uh, clear. As long as you follow those rules, that's the, the rule of karma. It's threefold rule of karma for the channel. The universe is gonna send it back to you tenfold for being an angel investor in the channel and fighting the good fight, my friends. Uh, blessings, uh, and let's get back into it. Okay, so there's an important technical price level in the pre-market that's highlighted and a notable move higher uh, we actually pushed the upper end of a range higher around the open. Um, and that price level is a trade opportunity. I'd probably close out of a long position if I opened a long position for an overnight swing trade, which might have been possible midday and at the end of the day uh, from the ninth. So I'd close that long position for a profit here in the midst of pushing the upper end of a range higher at a key technical price level. That's important not only on a one-day scale, but on a, a, like a one-month scale as well. We'll do three crisscrosses back and forth through the same price level there in the first half hour. And then there's a sharp decline uh, starting around 10 o'clock that will increase with momentum moving forward into the 11, 11 o'clock hour. Um, there's a trough around somewhere between 11 and 12, but probably closer to 12. And then out of that, there's a big move higher that'll stand out on a one-day scale around 12 o'clock, uh, possibly even like a, a temporary breakout through a key resistance level. Uh, but that strife card, we'll see that, that temporary breakout turn around will decline from that resistance with consecutively lower spikes up on the way down, declining back into a trough uh, somewhere, declining back into a trough somewhere around probably two o'clock. Um, so, so pretty much a decline from like, 12 in, uh, after that big move higher around 12 uh, pretty much a decline into the the two o'clock hour and then a fast sudden move higher marking end of that that uh, period of decline first some sideways rotation actually and then a fast sudden move higher between the hour of two and three o'clock roughly um in the midst of that fast sudden move higher we'll reach a day's high um and there's also co another co correlation there to the ace of wands so this is also a location where you might open up a close a long position and open up a uh short position so you actually could close you could, could open up a long position in the midst of the decline here midday and then uh, before the fast sudden move higher marking the end of the decline and then we'll have a fast sudden move higher probably in uh this is probably a speaker here um on the 10th this might be a speaker uh talking like a, maybe the fed or something somebody talking about economics but um there'll be that fast sudden move higher to the high i would close out of any long position for that i opened for a day trade there um when we do sideways rotation at, a, at a, like a cash out opportunity in the last hour um we'll do some kind of like flat behavior around the floor. Matter of fact, I don't think it's flat in the last hour. I think we probably declined from that high pretty notably into a low, um, either at the end of the day or uh, at the open, the probably the open the prior day. Uh, but in any case, I'd want to cash out a long positions here if I was looking for like short-term swing trade to close out here. And I'd probably, in, in the case of um, this rally, this temporary breakout here, I'd probably open up a partial short. And in the midst of the fast sudden move higher into the last hour of trading, I'd probably open, uh, add to that short in anticipation of closing it the following day. That's SPY for January 10th, 2024, my friends. It is currently October 31st. Make sure to follow that rule of karma, my friends. Everybody who's watching this knows that we de deserve it. There's nobody else on the planet that can do it. Without your support, channel wouldn't be able to put out this content. So follow through on that rule of karma. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so. It really helps out. And blessings to all my angel investors. I'll see you guys on the next one.